So the, the asking question is like, what was the last thing you purchased in World of Warcraft? I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, that was, that was so long ago. Uh, okay. Playable start. Innate fire, an innate that we're kind of into taking now. Rush is the best tier one card for most overcome strategies. And an Earth Seal upgrade is one of those cards that will stick around for quite a while. Waves and Water Seal are not... Neither of them are great, but they're both playable. Both playable in our early game. I'm gonna really get a good look at the lobby to figure out whether or not I'm concerned. Alright, let's see if we beat Incessant Double Natural Move Block. Pretty close. Alright, we do get there though. Card quality just high enough. Alright, we got Elixir. Upgrade the Water Spirit Seal, that probably means it's here to stay for a while. I don't really care for Fundamental Elixir, I fundamentally do not care. This might be a game where we roll on two a little bit. This Rush is doing its best Fletch impersonation. Might be a game where we roll on two a little bit. I am gonna take her innate fire, which actually will make this rush active. So that's kind of nice. We'll get that for free. Also, I'm still using the default skin from uh, a little while ago. Someone made that request. I've continued to honor it. I'm pretty sure we lose this one to the uh, to the metal menace. Actually, we don't because this doesn't. Oh, she's dead. It doesn't. We don't because she's dead. We don't lose because we won. All right, so easy kick. Um, a lot of interesting conversations here. I think Earth Seal is the card I'm least interested in chasing. Take an 8 mark. Oof, we'd have to take a Thunder Trib if we weren't interested in an 8, so that works out fairly well. I can... Let's not do that. I can actually play Flame 8 now. I don't want to spend some rolls. Do I want to spend some rolls? I mean, small recovery elixir is fine. This board is pretty playable. I shouldn't spend rolls if my board is playable. It's just awkward to have this card that is kind of a better Water Spirit seal at the moment, but not be able to play it because I'm stuck on a waves. Could just roll the waves as well, that would be totally legit, as well as a small recovery elixir, but I'm gonna chill. Got to go first, that is very good. Well, maybe. Depends a little bit on her board, but it probably means we get back to the waves to kill. Oh yeah, her board is not playable. I mean, it's it's fine. It's a Cloud Sword board. This is Cloud Sword. Uh, we're in the business of locking Iron Burn over here. So let's do that. Uh, Alright, these are... Very bad. These are really bad. Are they so bad that I start rolling at last? <laughs> Mad Obsession on one. Unhinged. Literally unhinged. I think I'd rather just save rolls for three now. We break through next turn. And it all plays fairly well. I cannot imagine... Well, I can't imagine. I was gonna say I can't imagine taking Mad Obsession when you have Sword and Sheath as an option, but I guess his board looks like this. Uh, in terms of people we're afraid of in the lobby, these guys can have pretty nasty early games. Tanchions have good late games, as does Yangchua. Coin flips, I guess we're scared of losing coin flips. This is the longest of waves has been on my board for a very long time. It's maybe a bit greedy to have it still sticking around here. I mean, I think it's fine, but not ideal.
but it's kind of getting the job done. Since he didn't take Sword and Sheath. <laughs> I love when people don't take their busted tier twos. It makes my life a lot easier. I mean... A four card breakthrough is probably this. I sort of want to keep the Wood Seal. It's not bad, it's just it costs 2 Chi, so normally you replace it with cards that do something, but I can't seem to draw any of them, so... No, we just definitely take 2 cards here. Scarlet Flame. See, like, now I can't play Scarlet Flame. This is probably a point where we spend a roll or two. I don't know that this is actually better than Waves, but it uses my board more effectively. I uh, use my Chi much more effectively. It's probably worse than Waves. Okay. Well then, this plays completely legitimately. Yeah, Waves just costs two Chi. You, usually, you end up drawing some combination of wooden fire cards that make it so that you want to... Uh, play an extra card instead of an extra, rather than keep the waves on your board. As well as when you're not innate fire, um, you can't go waves into a fire card, so like your really good cards like Rush and Scarlet Flame don't work. Um, just a lot of things aligned themselves to work out so that we ended up playing waves for a really long time this game. Two Force of Order? Well, that would be, that would be really good. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're breaking through next turn. I don't have a... I don't really have a playable wood card. Which is a mild issue. I'm keeping... I'm not keeping my metal card. I'm keeping these three. And we're breaking through, and then we're just hoping to find something. I don't have a spring either. Am I playing this? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just play attacks. Alright, so next turn we break through, we're keeping these three cards. And drawing Iron Bone and drawing another fire card. And then we have to kind of do some frantic rolling to uh, put the overcome board together. But we'll be playing, at least to start, a metal card, a spar shadow two fire cards. Spar Shadow also overrated. I don't like Spar Shadow very much. I, I, I kind of don't like it at all, but it does do like, you know, 6 plus 5, 10, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 damage, so it still does a fair amount. It does enough to earn its keep on this board. They couldn't make it increase the increased attack. You can't have it give like <laughs> You can't have it give like two attack up. That that would be stupid. <laughs> it would be too good for a tier two card. <laughs> Alright, let's quickly do this. Good hit. I don't want to roll any of this. I don't have enough chi here. That's a bit awkward. Means I probably lose this fight. But like, I could roll the rush specifically. Sure. Heart Pierce is playable. Iron Burn upgrade. That <laughs> makes the board worse, unfortunately. Alright, well, we didn't quite succeed in making a board, but we do have an upgraded Iron Burn and a Fire Chase. We want all of our fights, so it is a little bit more, uh, it is a little bit more freeing to lose a fight here. Also, so if you're wondering how I did that so quickly, um, the way to think of an overcome board with three, el with three, with two overcomes in it is three elements. If you're familiar with, ma <laughs> it's one element for you. Um, if you're familiar with Magic the Gathering, it's, it's wedges. So you take two things from the five element cycle that are next to each other, like fire and wood in this case, and then you take the one element that's not connected to either of them. 
so in this case metal metal goes into water and comes out of earth and then you use the second element of your pair to go into metal and then the metal to go into the first half of your element and then you have a board that looks like this i, I didn't even see that he has a burst sword as well he's truly uh he's truly out for my blood here What a, what a, what a, what an absolute jerk. All right, let's find the rest of this board. Scarlet Flame is good. I do need a source of chi. What if I didn't have a source of chi? <laughs> These are good upgrades. So yeah, so looking at this, right? Wood, fire, and then you, you ignore these two cards, these two elements, and play metal. Uh, in this case, this would normally not be active, but because of my innate it is. Um, so you use wood to go naturally into fire, and then you use fire to overcome into metal, and then metal to overcome into wood. And that's how it, that's how it works. Yeah, Overcome would be very bad if it didn't activate the element, but that is definitely a big part of it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Everyone plays Overcome wrong at first. No one intuitively knows how that card works. So do not uh, do not feel bad about that. And then there's particular, like, strategies and stuff that you tend to play in Overcome. Um, like, using Iron Bone and Wooden fire attacks for instance is just like a very natural natural board wood fire and metal all have chases so you can very easily build a board that chases through all your cards well i say easily but it looks like this <laughs> but even this is enough to beat a lot of mid-game boards so i keep finding upgrades which is fine like it's not bad it's just doesn't do anything. <laughs> We're full chasing. We, we did it. We, we've assembled full chase. Play two iron bones. Yeah, that's that's fair. We may as well have maxed up time on iron bone. Any kind of Exodia deck if possible. What's an Exodia deck with less than 3k? Unrestrained Yangtze? Is that Exodia? It's not Stun. Do you mean specifically Stun? Any type? Alright. So I'll ponder that as we get to it. Uh, Exodia... Should have hit ready there. So we're getting close to tier five. And we have a max up time iron bone with attack scaling. It's this could be a lot worse. That's hilarious. Iron bone reduces repel citadama. Did you all know that? Did you know that iron bone reduces repel citadama? Doesn't reduce apparition does reduce Repel Citadama. Well, you see, that's not quite true, because some things ignore it. <laughs> like, uh, something that just does direct damage doesn't care about Iron Bone. Those cards aren't real. That's fair. Like, Internal Injury gets around it. But it is very funny that uh, Repel Citadama here does nothing. Yeah, uh, Apparition Confusion as well. The cards that just, like, the talismans that just deal damage. All sorts of things. I still don't have a Chi source, which is kind of impressive. I now have a board that full chases. Let's keep rolling for some more power here. Wood Seal. 
Wind Seal's not even that good here. I mean, I don't really want to play a Wood Seal, right? It's no recovery. Shuttle? Shuttle's a better chase than Flash Fire, but it's less versatile. So kind of a lot better here. Alright. Very weird. Very weird to not have a Chi. To not have Chi at the moment. But we'll see how we go. Are there multiple plant Shions in this lobby or do I just keep running into them? I'm kind of shocked that this board is continuing to kill people, um, but I'll take it. The part of her board where she attacks me is not that threatening. The part of her board where she heals a bunch is a little obnoxious. Uh, but it looks like she's just going to be dead, so I guess it's not that obnoxious. Eventually she'll be dead. Yeah, full chase is pretty busted. Yeah, now now's when I need that willow leaf to show up. I know I don't have the chi for it, but I will make it work. Shuttles. I could eat all of these and break through. It's just the thing I really need is a is a fragrant. I think because the thing I need more than anything else is a fragrant. I'm not gonna do that. Pretty far along this line. Spring is a out to world smash, but I'm pretty far along this line. I just really need, I just really need fragrant and then life is good. Okay, life is good. Life confirmed good. It's probably still this. And just eat these four cards. Breakthrough. Yeah, you tell him, girl. Shit. Saved it. Saved it. I think I saved it. I saved it. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it right at the last minute. Unfortunately, we're gonna get Dharma'd and die. But that is one of the, uh... That is one of the limitations of, uh... Overcome. It is hard to beat Dharma. Oh, we're not getting Dharma'd at least. But we are getting Egret scaling. Oh, that's... Okay. Probably okay. Little scary for a minute there, but now I think we're fine. <laughs> that egret is still not lethal. Alright, alright. Almost threw it, but uh bought it at the last moment. More heart fires, I've kind of given up on that. This is a whole other board we could be playing, but it needs blasts for it to be good. And I don't have any blasts, so I'm gonna just throw it to the wind. So... Now we reach an impasse. This is the, uh, this is the predicament that Senpai Blank also describes where you can make enough chi if you put your metal cards at the front, or you can not make enough chi and put your cards at the back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm actually going to sit. Uh, 
I'm actually gonna sit here. <laughs> I, uh, I for some reason I insist on calling Fire Spirit Blast Fire Spirit Impact, and no one has been able to figure out why, so we're just running with it. It's round 12, everyone is actually pretty healthy in this lobby. Somehow no one has really lost a lot of destiny. Um, it's a little concerning. Overcome generally thrives when people start dying in the mid game. I'm about to get five thunders tier. I am not going to be thrilled. Looks like it's not at least an immediate five thunders. Ah, I see. She was trying to play around the iron bone. And in doing so, she played into my second board. Well, she doesn't have her passive, so she's dead. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to gaslight you, Victorious Shades. Oh, she does have her passive, it doesn't show up there. Well, you know, if she had it, wouldn't that have been great? We are... We do sort of expect to start losing fights around now. Ironburn starts to lose a bit of its luster. She found the Dharma, so that's bad news. Kinda don't want to be on shuttle. I don't want to rely on shuttle, that is. There's a thorn, which does eventually get get, a, get better than spa shadow. That's kind of a lot of my scaling right now. It's also kind of a bad card. I'm looking at whether or not I keep this blazing prairie, or if I eat it and then eat the ice god elixir. Is a pretty big liability against Fuluists. Hey, it's my thing. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> that, <laughs> that makes me wish I had it again. Iron Bone here doesn't do a ton. The extra chi is a pretty big deal. Um, though if I had it now, I would swap it, now that I've upgraded the Overcome. But the extra cheese is actually a, a pretty big deal. It means you can't play as many Forest Guards, it means you have to play, um, two Overcomes at the beginning of your deck a lot of the time. Which is generally not what you want to do. Because, uh, then you're stuck playing a ineffective metal card at the beginning of your deck when you'd rather be doing something stronger. So these decks that make a whole bunch of Chi are generally very good against Overcome. So given that's where a lot of Sword Sect late games end up, the strategy starts to usually drop off around now. Might be okay here. Would have been really good to get that, uh, get that kill. Uh, Enlightenment Elixir is fine. Man, we are still struggling to kill people out here. Right, I don't need this flash fire anymore. Do you like the fragrant upgrade? Slam that, and I think just slam this Enlightenment Elixir. Is it actually good against this Yanshu I board? Sort of. It's kind of rubbish against everyone else. This is a board that Ironbone is good against. One, two, three, four. This board looks treacherous. This board does look atrocious. Actually, because I wish this iron bone was maxed, but I think this will be fine. So this is an okay matchup, but it can get really good. Uh, it can get really bad, depending on how hard she hits. Similar here. This is always going to be kind of a bad matchup, 
Ice Guard Alexa can do a bit of work, but I mean, she just makes 6G and does it again. So it's not that good. We, we may need to do it anyway, but this is probably just a matchup we're gonna struggle to win. This is a bad matchup as well, but kind of solvable. <laughs> yes. Guard up Elixir is good against Dharma is sort of a recurring gag on the channel. Because uh, it frequently does not deliver on its promise. I got good mileage out of that first Iron Burn. Yeah, I mean, it, it beats some Dharma boards. It beats the boards that spend, like, uh, that spend a bunch of turns charging Chi and then play a huge Dharma. But most Dharma boards aren't really like that. Most of them instead play, uh, play a bunch of, uh, I'm not dead here, right? No, okay, good. Most of them play a bunch of cards that actually do stuff and then play a Dharma at the end. So even if you tank it, they just, like, reload and go again. I do like Enlightenment Alexa. I like Thorn and I like Tripod. I think I like Thorn the most. It's a pretty significant upgrade. But Enlightenment Alexa, the Talon Alexa might let us go first more, but it's just such a such a big improvement. I guess I have first Willow Leaf. Can I have more? Actually, Iron Bone doesn't do anything here, but it's fun. Yeah, like, look at this. I, I can't even guard up the Dharma reliably. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's it's reasonable because like it certainly seems like it should be good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Forest Garden will I leave? I think I'm dead here. If I'm not using this guard up elixir here, I should just eat it. Eat it. Perhaps tripod will kill her for us. I think this board actually, maybe I should have had it the other way around. Well, I mean, it did crunch a lot of that defense. enough. Like, we could have got up Elixir to block the Dragon Room. Our only real way to do better here is to just kill her before she kills us. Which is pretty hard to do. I don't think we're on Blast, ever. Too far gone for that. One, two, three, four, five. We're faster at the moment. Do we kill on five? One, two, three, four. I just have to make sure I don't die on four. Cut the overcome to fit guard up elixir. I don't think guard up elixir does enough. Do I need iron bone to not just die here? Does iron bone even keep me alive? It does a fair bit. Really hate it, but. Playing Iron Bone kind of feels like admitting defeat. I also kind of like this here to get the extra healing on Thorn. It's like it matters. This is so slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to get to seven with this board. That never wins. Oh my god, that never wins. I don't think I can tank it though. But 
last slot Iron Burn. That seems even worse. Problem is, after she starts dealing damage, she never stops. Problem is, she just never stops murdering me. I don't think this board has the turn 4 kill, and I'm not even convinced it wins if it does. I don't know, I do have the extra 7 damage from uh, my innate fire. That does help. Kind of close, right? Hmm. All right, top four, baby. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Okay, she's easier to kill. One, two, three, four. So as long as she doesn't kill us on four, she should die. She has less health this round than she had last round, and she had Birdie Wind. So this should this should beat her, because she's definitely not killing Kia, right? This doesn't kill. One, two, three, four. Shouldn't even come close. She could side me, but I haven't seen a side. I have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna do about that. Someone else deal with that, please. I think this is okay. I think this is uh about as good as I'm gonna get. She will catch us on speed eventually. Thanks to Space Spiritual Field. This is just unwinnable. This is just a write-off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe she plays it too slow. I doubt it though. Hopefully we kill her and that gets us into a top uh top three, I guess. Uh, she could maybe beat the Dharma board. If she beats the Dharma board, maybe things are okay. We are only like an upgrade away from killing her. Extra reach from our uh, innate metal doing good work. Also, the thorn here actually heals, which should make it very hard for her to kill us. She could have, like, a defensive card here. Okay, no defensive card means she's just dead. And that should deal 24. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good for me. <laughs> this is the person we're left with. Is it too late to make the swap? That up elixir kind of does things, but also kind of doesn't. I'm so dead. One, two, like I'm almost just dead on three. <laughs> I'm almost just dead here, let alone getting to this, the classic uh, plant she on, but that's fine. We, we did well. Iron burning this seems completely pointless. How much damage is this? 25, 35, 35 plus 60, 95, 1, 2, 3, so she doesn't kill us on 3. It's never this, it's, it's, it's honestly never Iron Bone either. Unfortunately we have to kill her twice, which is not going to happen. We did get to go first, so it looks like she ate a lot of her plants. We're really putting a lot of faith in this thorn. I'm- I'm- oh, never mind, she found even more upgrades. <laughs> Can I find a second willow leaf, please? Second willow leaf for me? If we find a willow leaf, we do kill her. Tripod? Find a tripod, we kill her. Okay, we, we, we have reached the part where we're killing her. This doesn't matter. It 
in my amount of. It probably doesn't matter. Where you're gonna upgrade actually doesn't matter. We have to make sure we keep going first. As soon as we go second, we die. Unfortunately, she's gaining an extra 0.25 cultivation per turn. Man, the fact that she has an extra life is killing me because even though we may win this fight, um, she can probably go first and kill us in the next one. Really fighting for our goddamn life out here. Cult Elixir? Cult Elixir. I've earned it. I've earned a Cultivation Elixir. I hate you. Alright, well. <laughs> she gets an extra Cultivation immediately. So she immediately goes up to 101. And then any plants she eats... There's a chance we speed tie, and then a chance we go first, in which case we win. But pretty sure we're dead. Dude, look at this fucking board, man. Actually, I wonder if it was God Up Elixir. It might actually have been God Up Elixir because the last lot is empty. But if she just puts like a dragonfly here, that is a disaster. That is terrible. I think we're just dead here. Yeah, okay. So she probably also ate the last couple of slots of her deck too. So even Cult Elixirs would not have done it. Well, a lot of Cult Elixirs would have done it, but it would have been a pretty hard sell. I mean, you expect to lose to Plant Shuyan in the late game, right? That is what you sign up for. Yeah. Kind of close. Alright, well, we'll take a second. Not too bad, all things considered. 